come to the class. Okay, so this is the broad classification of tenses. So we have studied the first two types, simple present tense and present continuous tense. So today we are going to start with the present perfect form of tense and present perfect continuous. All right. Yes, Nihal Shukla, you want to ask something? Sir, there is no electricity at Willis. That is why my background is black and uh, nothing is visible. So, in daylight in the morning also, it is so dark that your screen is black. Open the windows, doors, curtains. What are you saying? You don't have windows in your house. So now we are going to see what is the present perfect tense. All right. So it takes the form of we use either has and have plus verb plus ed form. All right. It follows this pattern. So the first use of uh, present perfect tense is that we use it with past actions which have their effect in the present. All right, so some action has been performed in the past, but it is having its effect in the present time. For example, that he has shaved off his beard. So in this case, he has shaved off his beard in the past, but the result, the effect of that activity, you can see it in present because you can see him shaved, all right. So all those actions which happened in the past, but they are having their effect in the present time, use this form. For example, Suparna has written the letter. So you can see that written letter, all right. The written letter is already in front of you. So the action happened in the past, but you can see its effect in the present time. Similarly, I have completed my homework. So in this case also, the homework, the completed homework can be seen and it was done in the past. After that, they have cleaned the room. So in this case also, you can see the clean room. The activity was performed in the past, the activity of cleaning, but you can see that the room is clean. All right. So all these actions happened in the past, but they are having effect in the present time. You can see their effect. Now, the second use is, it is used for past actions, the time of which is not definite. So when an action happened in the past, but we don't exactly know the time when the action happened. So when the time is not definite, then also we can use this form of tense. For example, she has taken her medicine. Now, she has taken her medicine in the past, but we do not exactly know the time when she took her medicine. All right. So, we can easily say that she has taken her medicine. All right. But if we know that uh, she took her medicine in the morning or, or any particular time, then we will say that she took her medicine at 2 p.m. She took her medicine in the morning then we will use the simple past if we know a definite time when that activity happened. But if we do not know the time, then we can use the present perfect tense. For example, I have been to Ahmedabad. So if I am not exactly telling the time when I went to Ahmedabad, then I can easily say I have been to Ahmedabad. But if I want to tell that I went there two years ago, I went to Ahmedabad last Sunday, then in all these cases where there is a definite time given, then I am going to use went. Then the same is with the third example. Farita has done a course in embroidery and knitting. So in this case also, when she did the course, we do not know. So we can say that Farida has done a course in embroidery and knitting. Here also the time of action is not definite. Then the third use 
it is also used to express a recently completed action in the past all right in the immediate past by placing just before the main verb so in this case it is saying that the action has just been completed in the past for example the train has just arrived so the train has arrived but it has only just arrived so the all those actions which have happened in the immediate past use this form of tense for example he has just left for delhi all right now we come to the fourth use it is used for mam taran shado it is still showing it is used for actions that began in the past and are still continuing so there are also certain cases when an action began in the past but they are still continuing so in all those cases also we can use the present perfect tense for example he has lived in this place all his life so what it means that uh, he has lived in this place in the past and now also he is living over here so that action was happening in the past also and it is also happening at the present time also so it will use the present perfect tense then the second example says i have never seen a ghost so in this case also i have not seen ghost in my past also and i have not seen it till today also so what was happening in the past is, is still continuing in the present all right then what the third example says arun has watched six films this week so in this example you see that it is saying that this week so it means that the week is, is still going on and he has seen six films so it might be the case that uh, till the time the week finishes he might see more films all right so the action is, is still going on the week is, is still about to over so he might watch more films so the action happened in the past but it is still going on then the fourth example rohit has been a good friend since 2012 so rohit has become a friend in the past but he is still my friend so we can use the present perfect tense because what happened in the past in the past he became my friend but he is still my friend then the last example she has adored these shell combs since the time she first saw them so again you see that uh, the action uh, began in the past when she first saw them she started adoring them and she is still adoring these shell combs so the action started in the past and it is still continuing all right so these are the uses of the present perfect tense now the last of the present tenses is the present perfect continuous form so it uses the form has have plus been plus verb and ing after it. all right so the present perfect continuous tense is used to talk about actions which began in the past and continue up to the time of speaking so it is saying that here also the action started in the past but it is going on at the present time also for example he has been watching television since morning so he started watching the television in the morning and he is watching it right now as well so it is using the present perfect continuous form then i have been teaching my students for 2 hours so the activity started 2 hours ago and i am still teaching my students so it is currently going on in the present time as well so we can use the present perfect continuous tense then i have been working on my assignment since monday so in this case also the activity is started on monday last monday but it is still going on i am still working on my assignment so in all these cases we can use the present perfect continuous tense then 
this example, uh, the second use is similar to the present continuous form where we were using always and constantly to show anger, criticism or annoyance. Here also the use is very similar if you see, because it is also used to express anger or annoyance. For example, she has been trying to wake me up since the minute I fell asleep. So here it is saying that she is constantly annoying him or trying to wake him up the moment he fell asleep. So the action has started in the past when he fell asleep and she has been continuously trying to wake him up till the time he woke up. So it has continued till the present time. And this is actually showing annoyance over here. Then the second example is someone has been fiddling with my phone. So again, people get annoyed if somebody starts playing with your phone because people want to keep it private to themselves. So again, here it is trying to show anger or annoyance. So this fiddling activity with the phone started in the past and it has been continuing up to the present time. All right. So now we are going to see the comparison between the present perfect or pre uh, present perfect continuous tense. All right. So what is the differences? The present perfect continuous tense is used to highlight the duration of an activity. So the use of present perfect continuous tense is a, when we want to highlight how long an action took place, then we like to use the present perfect continuous form. While the present perfect tense is used to focus more on the result of that activity, the activity that was performed. I am Shukla, you are constantly yawning. Are you feeling sleepy? So the present perfect continuous tense is used to highlight the duration that how for how long the activity has been going on and the present perfect tense is used to focus more on the result that we obtained from that activity. So you will understand with the examples. For example, Sita has been studying hard since nine in the morning. So here we are trying to focus on that for how long Sita has been studying. So here it is being said that since nine, she is studying all right since nine in the morning. So for a long period of time, she has been studying. So we are using the present perfect continuous form to highlight that it has been a long duration since she has been studying. Then the second example is Sita has studied for the test. So now if we say that Sita has studied for the test, it would mean that uh, she has studied for the test and now she is prepared for it. All right. So here we are more focused on the result of the activity that she studied and now she has prepared herself for the test. So the result of this uh, studying activity was that she has now prepared herself for the test. So here we used the present perfect form. Then the third example she has bought three saris for herself. So again, so the action was that she was shopping, she was buying stuff. And what was the result of this activity? That she bought three saris for herself. So, so here we are using the present perfect form of tense because we are more focusing more on the result of the activity of buying that the result she got was three sarees for herself. Then the last example, she has been shopping for the wedding since Sunday. So in this last example, what it is being said that she has been shopping for a long time. So from Sunday, she has been continuously shopping for the wedding. So here we are trying to focus more on the duration of the activity that is being performed. That is she is shopping and she is shopping for a long time from Sunday. She is continuously shopping. So the focus is not on the result, but the focus is more on the duration of the activity that is being performed over here. Then 
what uh, sometimes uh, either tenses can be used without changing the meaning so in certain cases you can use the present perfect form of tense as well as the present perfect continuous tense you can use both but the meaning of the sentence will not change much all right for example i have studied here for 12 years so now when and the second example says i have been studying here for 12 years so whether you use i have studied here for 12 years or i have been studying here for 12 years in both the cases it would mean the same that you have been studying at a particular place for 12 years all right so in certain cases you can use either tenses but they will not change the meaning for example in the second case you see they have worked on this project for the last 6 months and the last example is saying they have been working on this project for the last 6 months but the end result what it is showing that they have been working or they have worked on this project so it means that the work on this project has been going on for the last 6 months all right so there is hardly any change in the meaning whether you use, use the present perfect form of tense or present perfect continuous form all right so now we come to our exercise part so now i would like yes brujins all right so you want to answer the first one i think okay you can answer the first one good morning sir good morning sir the answer of the first question is she has attended the meeting yes you are right but i also want to know the reason for this answer sir because it is in present uh, sir because it is uh, she is singular no no i am asking has attended you have said and has attended is the present perfect form of tense it is not present perfect continuous form right so why have you used the present perfect form of tense and not the present perfect continuous form i am asking that ma'am uh, so sir uh, you uh, you told us now only that uh, there uh, in the difference of in yes. the difference of uh, present perfect uh, tense and present perfect uh, continuous tense that in some sentences we can use uh, present continuous uh, present perfect continuous and pre present perfect tense also okay but here if you see the sentence they are only trying to say that she has attended the meeting so it means that she was present in the meeting right this is what they are trying to say so they are focusing more on the result that whether she was present in the meeting or not they are not emphasizing more on the duration of any activity that was performed that how long she was there or anything like that right so here the focus is more on the result that whether she was present in the meeting or whether she was not present so here we are going to use the present perfect tense and say that she has attended the so the result was that she has attended now the second example who is going to answer that siddhi you want to answer good morning sir good morning go ahead so the answer will be they have attended attempted attempted all right yes but uh, siddhi i want to know the reason also why you gave this sir because so because the sentence is focusing more on the result yes yes you are correct so here the sentence is trying to tell us that whether they attempted all the questions or they did not attempt all the questions so here also the focus is more on the result of the activity that while they were trying to answer all the questions whether they tried all or not so this is just showing the result that yes they tried or yet no they did not try to attempt all so here the focus is more on the result and not the duration of any activity that was performed all right so now we come to the third sentence so i think pranjal yadav wants to answer 
Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Sir, in this, we have to fill present perfect continuous tense, and the answer will be he has been writing a book since morning. Sir, we have used present continuous present perfect continuous tense because the sub the sentence is more focusing on the uh, duration of time and the action is is still going in the present. Yes, yes, all right. You have understood it completely, I think. Yes. So here the focus is more on the duration of activity because they are saying that since morning. He has been writing a book. Yes. So here the focus is not on the result that whether the book has been written or not, but here the focus is more on the duration that since morning the activity has been going on. All right. So that's why we are using the present perfect continuous form over here. Now I think Rishik Singh wants to answer the fourth. Sir, answer will be they. Uh, no, no, it's sir, the fourth one. You. Okay. Uh, you dash continuously for two hours. Sir, you are driving continuously for two no, hours. No, no. If you say you are driving, then it will be the present continuous form. I am asking you to fill it with present perfect or present perfect continuous tense. What is the form of present perfect continuous sense? It's have, plus, has have, plus been, plus verb, plus ing. All right. So now fill it. Uh, you, you have been driving. Yes, yes. You have been driving. Because why are you, are we using uh, have been driving over here and not driving? Because uh, uh, activity has started in the past. All right. For, from two hours in the past prior, yes, the activity has started two hours ago. And it is still continuing. So here the present perfect continuous form of tense is more appropriate. Yes. And the focus here is yes, also sir. on the duration of activity that is being performed. That is two hours. They are trying to focus more on the duration that for the last two hours you have been driving all right. now who will answer me the fifth one thank you some other students too Sianchi, you want to answer sir the answer of the sentences they have collected samples from all patients Okay, have collected. You are correct, but I also want to know the reason why you are saying that. Sir, because the sentence is more emphasizing on the result. Yes, yes. So here also no duration of activity is uh, being focused on over here. They are just trying to say whether the samples from all the patients have been collected or not. So the activity of collecting the samples was performed and what was the result of their activity? Yes, that whether uh, the samples from all the patients have been taken or not. So since uh, the focus is more on the result of that activity, so we are using the present perfect continuous, present perfect form and not the present perfect continuous form. All right, Isha Srivastav, you can answer the next one. I have been collecting, I have been investing money for five years. Okay, very good. And I also want to know the reason why. Because the focus is on the duration of the activity. Yes, yes. So the activity is investing money. Yes. And here the focus is that for how long I have been investing. That is why we are using the present perfect continuous form. Okay, if uh, the sentence was uh, in this nature that uh, I have invested money for a long time and I have become rich. So, yes, I have invested money and I have become rich. In this case, the result of that activity was that I became rich because of investing money. So, if 
the sentence was in this nature, then we would have used the present perfect tense because then the focus would have been on the result that what happened because of investing that I became rich. But here, the focus is more on the duration of investment. That is why we are using the present perfect continuous form. Okay. I am, you want to answer the next one? So, sir, he has gone to the hospital for an operation. Yes, yes. He has gone. Please tell the reason also. Because the activity is focusing on the result, not on the duration. Yes, yes, you are right. Why? Because we just want to know whether he has gone to the hospital for the operation or not. So it is saying that he has gone. There is no need for any time duration to be mentioned over here. All right. The simple focus is on whether he has gone for the operation or he is has still not gone. Okay. Now the last sentence. I think uh, Kavya wants to answer this. Sir, they have yes. been they have been installing a smoke since yes you are right they have sense. it will be have been installing you are correct uh, please tell me sir, the reason also sir because the sentence is more fo focusing on the duration of this activity yes you are absolutely right so they are focusing more on uh, the duration that they are working since five in the morning. They are not focusing on the result, whether the smoke alarm has been installed or not, but they are focusing more on that activity that uh, it is being performed for such a long time. So we are using the present perfect continuous form for you. All right. So, now we move on. So now we are going to study the use of for and the use of since. All right. So we will study the, wait a minute. Okay. So we will study all those cases where since is going to be used and the cases where for is going to be used. So it is said that we use since to show that something has been happening from a specific point of time in the past. So the action is happening from the past, but we know the specific point of time from where the action has started. So we exactly know the point of time for the point of time when the action started. For example, I have not met Anita since 2012. So in this example, we clearly see that the time has been given that since 2012, I have not met Anita. So a, a specific point of time has been given to us. Same is the second case. Huh? I have been working here since last year. So in this case also, we know that from last year, I have been working here. But for the use of for, for is used to show a period or duration of time. For example, I have known Adira for 10 years. So in this case, the focus is more on the duration of time that for how long I have known Adira. So it is not focusing on since when I know her. There is not any focus on the point of time from when I started knowing about her, but it is focusing more on the duration of time for which I have known her. So whenever it is a case of uh, uh, show, trying to show that duration of time, then we are going to use for. For example, in the second one, she has been studying for four and a half hours. So again, you can see 
that here also the focus is more on the duration of time for which she has been studying. If we would have said that she has been studying since morning. So if uh, morning would become a, a specific point of time, right? It would become a specific point, uh, point of time that since morning she has been studying. But when we want to highlight the duration of activity that she has been studying for four and a half hours, so here we are using for. So if you have understood the use of for and since, then I would like you all to answer all these sentences for me. Who wants to start answering? Sianchi, you want to answer the first one? Go ahead. Sir, the answer of first question is, she has been copying lines for an hour. Okay, very good. She, uh, will you tell me the reason also? Sir, because it is not showing a specific time but is it yes. but the sentence is showing a duration of time yes so sentence is focusing more on the duration of time for which the activity has been going on all right correct mayam you want to answer the second one so the chasing a cat since dawn yes please tell me the reason also so because uh, there is a specific time in the sentence. Mentioned. Yes. So the focus is uh, uh, a specific time has been given that since dawn, the cat is being chased by the dog. Yes. So uh, the focus is not more on the duration of activity, but from the point of time, the action has started. Now, let me see. Someone new. Sahaj, all right, Sahaj will answer this. Sahaj, are you, have you muted yourself, Sahaj? I can't hear anything. No, Sahaj, your voice is not coming. All right, we can ask someone else. Brajin, do you want to answer this one? Yes, sir. Sir, it will be... Yes. Yes, it is correct. Sir, it will be since please tell me. Sir, because it, uh, sir, because it is showing a specific, uh, a specific time. Yes, yes, absolutely correct. It is showing you the specific time from when he has been teaching Graham. Absolutely correct. So now anyone else? I want someone new to answer this one. Sir, Angel can answer. She hasn't answered. Okay, okay. Angel, now you answer. Yes, I was also looking for someone who has not answered up till now. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. So, so it will be four. Okay. Please tell me the reason. So because here uh, it is about months. It is telling uh, us period, sir. Yes. So here the focus is more on for how long I have been hearing about her. So I am saying that I have been hearing her about her for months. So months have passed by. Yes. So we are, uh, I am basically telling the duration of time from uh, for which I have been hearing about her. All right. The last one, Sianshi, please answer. So the answer of last one is the girl have been chatting for three hours. Yes. So again here, 
it is a case of duration of time because they are showing us the duration of time that the girls have been chatting for three hours. If we put uh, anything like uh, morning, evening, afternoon or anything like that, then it will become a point of time since when they have been chatting. So then we will use since for this. All right. So now this completes uh, our chapter of the present tense. All right. Our chapter has been completed. Now, please unmute yourself. What was that sound? So if uh, anybody wants to ask any doubt, then please ask. 